this is Storko 4 here, bringing you Dragon Quest XI. Um, this one I actually had a real lot of fun with. Uh, probably most fun RPG I've played in a while. I've never played a Dragon Quest series, so I, I don't know if it was just the newness of all that, not knowing the characters, not knowing the story, but then having that, that just good old medieval magic knights and princesses feel. Um, I don't know if all Dragon Quests are like that. I would assume they are, but I've, like I said, I've never played any of them. A after playing this, I definitely do want to try out all the other Dragon Quests. Uh, I played Dragon Quest Builder, but that's just a uh, simulator game, so I don't really know that much of the story, but I, I got the feel that it's kind of the same vibe, and it, it seems like that series would be a heck of a lot of fun. Um, one thing about this game is the auto fights were fun. Um, very, very customizable. Um, you can have four people in a team. You can say team member one and two, I want to manually con take control of, but I want the magic users to do auto. Or you can do the opposite. You can do the soldiers just go up and attack while you manually pick the black mage and the white mage or the healer and the attacker. And there, there's so many combinations you can do. Um, of course, with most of the RPGs now, you can say, go all out, use all mana, or hold back on your mana, or fight conservatively, and, and that kind of thing. So it, it's very, very customizable on how you want to do it. Um, one of the first characters you get is like a thief. So I know the first thing I did was put him on manual because I couldn't figure out how, why he wasn't stealing anything at first. So I put him on manual and and I was able to steal from all the monsters and I, I had a blast with it. Um, another cool thing is the skill trees. They are very customizable again. It's just about how you want to play. You would have someone with swords, knives, or daggers. So you get to pick any of those three skill trees and you you really feel like you're making a difference in the character and the equipment matters and if you find a good sword even though you're a dagger you're just like well i like the dagger tree i'm just gonna stay in the dagger um but yet you do have the ability to re-change your skill points and if you do really want that sword that's so much stronger you can re respect your skills and go into the sword so you, you you can play the game any way you want with any character um, it, it's really awesome. Um, the crafting system is really fun. Uh, they reward you for crafting. If you craft something perfectly, you get pearls. And then with the amount of pearls you use, you can craft more things. So essentially, the more you craft, the more bonuses you get. Um, it's kind of like the D&D system where you get a sword and you get a sword plus one or a sword plus three. Um, so you can reforge even if you have... A sword and you don't want to create something if you just have a sword and you want to make it better you can use those pearls to give it plus three um, so it's really fun again customizable out the wazoo and one absolute great thing if I, if I could add one feature from this game to every single game in the world it, it would be the fact that when you're loading it shows you exactly what happened and it's such detail that you remember exactly what's happening but it's not enough detail to bore you so it really is perfect on the synopsis of what's happening in the story if you stop playing for eight months you go back to it and you're like oh I know exactly where I am I remember exactly what I was doing and I haven't come to a point yet where when I loaded my game it just gave a generic load screen it really is telling you exactly what to do at every point I, I love it and Another thing that makes the game awesome is the character voices. Uh, you, uh, at first, I, I muted it. Um, I, I normally play my games mute, so the, the transitions between the cinematics and the games are so smooth that I didn't realize that it was going into like a cutscene. The cutscene is basically you see the characters there talking to each other, but it shows the text as well, and you can skip the text just as if you were talking so I didn't realize it was cinematic until one time one day I just decided to play with the sound on and I noticed that there were some scenes where they were just talking you'd see the text and then all of a sudden you just hear the character voices I'm like oh this is a cinematic so, so that's really cool that it just smoothly throws it in there and if you didn't play with sound you can just easily skip it and not worry about it or if you're playing with sounds and don't want to watch the same scene again you can easily skip it it's 
a, a really awesome blend between being forced to watch a cinematic and not being forced to watch a cinematic. Um, but the voices of the characters really do make it worth it. At, once I found out that those were cinematics, I always played this game with sound. The voices were that unique and fun, and it, they did make the story. And the story is fun, too. It's constantly moving, um, so I've never had a point where I just felt bored. And most of the time when I needed to grind, I actually felt bad because I wanted to get on with the story. It was that good. Um, most RPGs, I'm just like, forget about the story. Let's just grind for 18 hours. But this, this one actually made me want to just keep going and pushing myself to the limits just because I wanted to see that extra cinematic um, but it was an amazing game I'm definitely going to try out all the other Dragon Quests um, I would advise to try this one um, but about, about the only con that I did see is the load times um, when you go to a different world or when you first load the game sometimes you are sitting there for like two or three minutes um, I'm playing on the PS4, not the PS4 Pro, so the Pro might be better. Um, but as far as a, just the standard PS4, the load times are horrendous. I normally check my email on my phone and talk to people on my phone, and then once it loads, I'm once it loads, it's fine. The game plays fine; it's smooth. But just loading takes quite a while. And but for the most part, I would I would easily give this a high 90 on the score and I would advise anyone to get it no matter what the cost is because you, you will have fun with it and that's my review for this one and thank you guys for watching if you liked it hit the like and subscribe button and thank you and see you next time